other stuff would be Brady and I just sort of throwing ideas back and forth. And um, when Maddie came into the picture, then getting Maddie into the room and, and sort of um, walking through uh, improvising um, a scene uh, or doing some rough dialogue. She, she would do like, they, they, like there'd be some rough dialogue. They would go back and forth on it. And then through the process of improvising, we would find the script, you know, kind of what Mike Lee does in a way. But then a lot of what was happening was also happening on set. I mean, we were discovering things on set. Um, and we'd have, like, we'd, we'd put, we'd have a revelation one day, and then that we'd, we'd realize, oh, this, this device we can use again here, or this thing we've set up in this scene, is we can pay it off here. And it was, and so some things, these things would appear organically on set. Like it, it was, and then sometimes I'd shoot a scene and I'd go back and review it and I'd say only 30 seconds of the scene that we shot worked. And there's, but there's all this crucial plot and dialogue that we're not getting here. So what I'd do is I'd say, okay, I look at my calendar schedule of what I need to shoot. And I'd say, okay, we're shooting in a bedroom and in that scene, I, I hadn't written any dialogue, but I was going to improvise uh, Maddie whispering something about banal about her day, and he would fall asleep. But I had this all this information that I wanted to com convey about uh, her child and, and what she lost and where she came from. So I realized, well, here's a place where I can put that, and I can I can improve on what I what we what we already wrote. I realized what was what was what was wrong about the original scene. And, and, then, and then a week later, we were shooting this other scene, and I, I, I improved on what we did. So sometimes it would be like, it, it was like that. So every night I'd be editing, uh, and then re reviewing footage, uh, rewriting stuff, or writing some new stuff. I'd wake up in the morning, go to set, we'd shoot. Um, sometimes we'd shoot with nothing but uh, some scribbling on a, on a notebook. Sometimes it'd be uh, nothing, just an idea, and um, and uh, and that was it. I mean, it was a very unusual process, but it was very organic. It was like writing with a camera and actors in a room, you know. I have um, a new pin. Oh yeah. J'ai étudié des yeux à l'université. Really? Oui. Oui. J'ai étudié la relation. Entre le cerveau et les yeux. Tu parles très bien français? Non, c'est pas vrai. Yes, you do. I, uh, I studied in high school, but it's bad. Do you want to make love? <laughs> um, how much is that? If you say 150, I say okay. Some girls say it's the price and they won't go down for 100. But me, I can go down for 150. 150? Yeah. I give half to my boss if they make 50. I give him 25. Okay. But, um. With you, it's not like sleeping with an old and fat ugly man, you know? <laughs> with you, I would like it. I, um. I spent all my money at the bar. I, I only have a credit card. You have a credit card? Yeah. It's okay. You can give it to me. Okay. You would say that that process was complementary towards a very, what well, seemingly austere, composed visual style. Um. N no, it's not. But it, but that's that was the challenge, and that's why it was interesting to me. Because I was, I very much, I said from the beginning, I said we're not going to make a, a guerrilla style movie. We're going to do it in a very. We're going to make a film that is unscripted, but we're going to make it. We're going to treat it with a great deal of. Um, we're going to treat the camera in the same way that I tried to treat the camera in after school, and that we've always treated. The, the, the cinema that we make, which with a great deal of reverence and, 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 and approaching and everything in this kind of restrained, minimalist way. Um, so they don't necessarily complement each other, but um, we found a way of, of, 
of the, making that work. Um, but it was, it, I didn't sleep for 24 days. So, so to that end, no, it, 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 it requires a lot of work and, and constantly figuring out this jigsaw puzzle that you've, I mean, I made my life very difficult, so, um, but, but that was a, that's kind of like what I like to do, I guess. Well, the work has certainly paid off. If thank the you. audience reaction on Monday night was anything to go by. I appreciate that. Thank you very uh, much. Antonio Campos, thanks ever so much for thank talking to us. Thank you so much. Us.